Llegó Javier. Ok. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Llegó. Welcome. Here I am. Hello, teacher. He was the end of the Spanish. <laughs> uh, who was speaking Spanish? Rolando was speaking in Spanish. Come on, Rolando. Yeah, Rolando, Rolando, Rolando is only speaking yeah, Spanish. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Sorry. You. You're, you're, Sorry, very, you're very cold, right, Rolando, because you, you have the hat. Yes. You're very cold. 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 Uh, Con frío, Cold, right? but not cough. Okay. Puro sijo. Remember? Sijo, Seattle. I mean that. No. No, no. No, let's okay. No. You're okay. You don't have the flu. No. Flu. Achi. No. No, Rolando. American football. Ah, I understand. <laughs> no. No. You're okay. Good. Vicky, hello. Welcome. I feel good. You feel good. Hi, Vicky. Hello, teacher. Hello, good welcome. evening. Good evening. Thank you. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Fine. Okay. Yes. My, my dog say hello. Ruff, ruff. Oh, <laughs> bye bye. Hello. <laughs> okay, good. Now let's start with the class. Today we have a lot of topics to cover, so I'm going to start with the PowerPoint presentation, right? Let's begin. Pre intermediate module two, right? Conversation. Did you do anything special? And we're going to learn about the simple past. In the previous module, we were talking about affirmative and negative, right? Today, we're going to introduce the question with the simple past, right? Okie dokie. Now, the lesson objective, please. Vicky, can you read the objective for this part, please? Okay. Lesson objective. In this section, participants will listen to a conversation about two people and the activities they did during the past weekend. A conversation, two people talking about the past weekend, right? Simple like that. And the vocabulary in this conversation is the next. Downtown had, went, sang, stayed, studied, forgot. Please repeat after me. Downtown. Downtown. Had, went, sang, stayed, studied. Forgot. Okay, downtown, you know, is el centro de la ciudad, right? The centro de San Salvador, for example, downtown, you know? Uh, and then we have here uh, six verbs. The, the simple past tense of this verb. Some are irregular, some are regular. The past tense of have, had. The past tense of go, went. The past tense of sing, sang. So these are irregular verbs, right? Then stayed and studied are regular verbs. And forget, forgot. Simple pass with irregular verb here, right? Okay, any question? Now we're going to use this vocabulary in the conversation, right? Look, Rick says, so what did you do last weekend, man? Eh? And Meg says, oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. Ricky said, how fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Or this is today? I forgot about that. 
don't worry. You always get an, an A. That in El Salvador is a 10, right? Okay. Now look at the picture. Uh, we have Meg singing, right? Uh, do you think people like the way that she sings? Are the people happy listening to Meg? What do you think? Rodrigo, what do you think? Are the people happy listening to Meg singing? Yeah, I think that she's, she's very happy. No, no, no. People, people that are in, in the karaoke bar, are they happy? Ah, uh, I think so. Uh, <laughs> I think that they have a good time, but uh, if you watching, uh, maybe just a little noise. <laughs> Could be, right? <laughs> For example, the, if you listen to the teacher singing, you're going to make like this, right? Yeah. <laughs> when yes, I understand. When the night has come, it's gone. And the, then the land is dark, and the moon is the only light we'll see. And then everybody, all the sun, oh. <laughs> Good, thank you, Rodrigo. Now, okay. uh, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar. And sang with some friends on Saturday. How fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. Downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Or test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay, let's practice the conversation, right? Uh, we have Adonai Portillo, please. Can you help me, Adonai? You're going to be Rick. And Claudia, please, you're going to be Meg. Ready? Okay. Ready. 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 One, yes. two, three. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some Fridays of Saturday. How fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We didn't. We went to that new place, Dalton, home about you. Did you go anywhere? Anywhere? No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stay at home and study for today's Spanish test. Our test is today. I forgot about that. 
Don't worry. You always get an A. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, another practice, right? Again, please repeat us to me. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. How fun! Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to the new place downtown. Downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stay home and studied for today's Spanish test. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Or test is today. I forgot about that. Don't worry. Be happy. I'm oh, no, sorry. Excuse me. Don't worry. You always get a name. Okie dokie. Now, let me see. Uh, Josue, please. Josue Rosales, your. Rick again, and my please, my you're going to be Meg, right? Here we go. One, two, three. So what did what did you do last week, and Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. How fun! Did you go to Lotkit? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't. No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and study for today's Spanish, Spanish test. Our test is today. I forgot about that. Don't worry, you always get, get an A. An A, right? An A. Thank you, thank you. My and, and Josue, please. Uh, thank you very much. Now, uh, let me see who's going to help me. Uh, Rodrigo, please, can you help me? You and Hilda, can you make the conversation, please? Hilda, you're going to be Meg for the last time, right? Okay. And okay. Rodrigo, Rick, of course, right? One, two, three. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. How fun. Did you, do, did you go to Lucas? No, we didn't. We went to that new place in town. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Oh, test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. My goodness. Hey, Rodrigo, I, I think that sometimes think Rodrigo works for a radio, right? Do you work for the radio? <laughs> <laughs> Good boy, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. In, in the future, I, uh, is, is my goal. Oh, okay, that's nice. <laughs> Good. <laughs> now, Let's continue, right? This was the conversation introducing uh, the, the simple path, right? 
Now let's go to the lesson objective for the topic that is the simple part, right? Now uh, let's read the, the, the objective for the second part, please. Irma, can you help me read this, the objective, please? Uh, turn on your microphone, Irma. Okay, good. Now read. In this session, simple uh, lesson objective. In this session, simple past question and answer will be introduced. Irregular and regular verb will also be taught. Taught, uh -huh, taught. Thank you. Enseñado, right? Taught. The past tense of, no, the past participle of teach. Taught. Okay, thank you, Irma. Thank you very much. Now, past questions, right? Including regular and irregular verbs, right? Now, he would say this idea, right? Use the past form of, uh, just give me a second. Eh, la pantalla no me deja ver, just give me a second. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. The, and here, right? Good. Use the past tense form for affirmative statements, right? Use didn't plus the base form for negative. So here we have examples of sentences, right? Uh, using affirmative and negative. In affirmative, we have the subject, the verb in simple past, and uh, the complement, right? In negative, we use the auxiliary did plus not, and then the verb. Not in, in simple past, but in simple present, right? In simple present. So you say, I didn't like the concept. Then uh, it says irregular verbs. Use the past tense for, of irregular verbs in affirmative statement. In negative statement, use didn't plus the base form. I went to a party, I didn't go. Listen, you don't say, I didn't win, right? I didn't win, <laughs> I didn't win. No, come on, incorrect. I didn't go, right? We made dinner and we didn't make the a breakfast, right? So you don't say made because you are using the auxiliary didn't, right? And this is a review, right? Esto ya lo vimos, ya lo vimos en, en niveles anteriores, pero es un repaso. Now, to make the simple past of regular verbs in affirmative statement for the simple past, again, <laughs> you add ed to the verb. For example, call, called. You add ed, right? If the verb ends in e, you just add the d. You say like, liked. And study, you change the y to i, and then you add ed. Study, studied. And if the verb has the, the formula consonant, vowel, consonant, Two consonants and ba one vowel in the middle, right? You double the last consonant, in this case, PP, and then you add ED, right? So you said chopped, right? Okay, this is for regular verbs, only in affirmative. In negative and in questions, we don't use this form because we use the auxiliary did, right? Okay? So when you use the auxiliary did, it's not necessary to change the verb into the simple past form, just in affirmative. In regular verbs, we have these rules. And irregular verbs, well, we don't have rules. No rules. Just you have to memorize the simple past of the verb. For example, buy, bought, come, came, cut, cut. Do, did, drink, drank, drive, drove, eat, ate, get, got, go, went, have, had, make, made, put, put, read, read, say, said, see, saw, take, took, think, thought, write, wrote. Okay? So these are some examples, right, of irregular forms for the simple past, right? 
And again, you can use these irregular forms for uh, simple present affirmative. No, sorry, simple past affirmative, excuse me. Simple past affirmative, right? Okay? So, in simple past affirmative, we use regular verbs and irregular verbs. For regular verbs, you add the ED and the rules here, right? And for irregular verbs, you have to memorize the simple past forms that are, like the word said, irregular, right? Okay? Good. So, this is a review, right? Esto lo vimos en el nivel anterior. But this is a review. Affirmative, you change the verb. Negative, you don't change the verb, but you use the auxiliary did plus not, right? Good. Now we're going to introduce the question, right? The question. Okay, to introduce the question, I want to tell you that we have uh, here, this is no simple past, but this is example, right? Of yes, no questions. And here we have the, neg the, the simple past, excuse me. So these class are yes, no questions, right? Examples of yes, no question. Uh, this is for the verb to be. This is for the modal can. This is for the simple present, and this is for the simple past. Examples of yes, no question, right? Now, let me see. Uh, I will make the question, and then you, you make the answer, right? So let me see. Um, Rolando, please. Are you a student? Yes, I am a student. Yes, I am a student. Very good. I will make another question. Please let me let me introduce my daughter. Let me introduce my daughter here. Okay. She's my daughter. Can you see her? What's your name? Sophia. She's Sophia, right? Is she Sophia? Yes, she is. Is she my daughter? Yes, she's my daughter, right? Say goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, so this is the way we make yes, no question, right? Yes, no questions. And using the, the, the simple present, right? And again, I want, I want to introduce my dog again, right? <laughs> my dog. Is he my dog? Yes, he is, right? <laughs> he's my dog, right? Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Is he my dog? Yes, he's my dog. <laughs> okay, now we have another question, right? Can you speak French? Uh, I will make this question to uh, Irma, please. Can you speak French? No, I can speak French. Notice that when I say to Irma, can you, she, does, she didn't say, uh, uh, no, I am not. <laughs> I am not. No, come on. Oh, oh, yes, I do. No. With the verb to be, we use the verb to be. With can, we use can, right? And with simple present, Hilda, please. Do you live in San Salvador? Uh, yes, I live in San Salvador. You see? So I, I use the simple present. Do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I do. Or no, yes, I live in San Salvador, right? Simple present. Don't, don't say, yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. No. Or yes, I can. No. Do you live in San Salvador? No. It's, yes, I live in San Salvador, right? Now, with the simple past, is something similar, right? Something similar. For example, look. Uh, sorry, excuse me. I, I need to make a pause. Necesito hacer una pausa, right? Ana Maria. Hello, Ana Maria. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you? ¿Qué se nos había hecho, Ana María? Ah, teacher, es que he estado de niñera estos días. <laughs> ok, I'm sorry. I'm Pero, so... ¿en qué estoy? Ok. ¿Ha estado trabajando en la plataforma, Ana María? Eh, sí, llegué hasta el, el nodo del chat. Ah, hasta... ok. Uh -huh. Hasta la, la sección 1, ¿verdad? Sí, es el primer okay. laboratorio. Thank you. Thank you for coming to the class, right? Ana Maria, I will make the question to you. Listen, did you eat chicken yesterday? 
Yes, I ate chicken yesterday. Thank you very much. Now notice that all the questions, verb to be, can, simple present and simple past, you answer yes or no, right? Yes or no, yes or no. Then if I use the verb to be in the question, I use the verb to be in the, the answer. If I use can in the question, I use can in the answer. If I use the simple present in the question, I use the simple present in the answer. And if I use the simple pass, I use the simple pass in the answer, right? This is for yes, no question. And notice that I say only yes or no, yes or no. Now we have information question or WH question. For example, using the verb to be, where is my pencil? Silvia Roxana, where is my pencil? My pencil is on the deck. Thank you very much. Right, next one. What can you do? What can you do? Juan Alfonso, please. What can you do? Excuse me, teacher. The answer for the question, uh, what can you do? I can drive a car. Very good, excellent, right? So you use can in the question, you use can in the answer. But notice that I don't say, what can you do? Juan Alfonso didn't say, yes, I, yes, I can. Yes, I can. No, come on. Incorrect. It's not yes. Yes or no is in yes, no question. But in information question, you answer the very specific information. When I say where, on the desk. When I say what can you do, drive a car, right? Okay, now next question. Where do you go? Where do you go? Lorena, where do you go? I go to my house. Thank you very much. Se le oye un poquito lejos otra vez, pero se le escucha, Lorena. No problem. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Good. Now, Josué. Josué Rosales. What did you do? I went to the park. Thank you very much. Now, again, the information question that I use verb to be. I use verb to be in the answer. When I use can, I use can in the answer. When I use the simple present, I use the simple present in the answer. And when I use the simple pass in the question, I use simple pass in the answer, right? Okay, and notice that we're using WH word, where, what, et cetera, et cetera, right? And the difference between the yes, no question. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. The yes, no question and information question is, these are yes, no, and these are specific information, right? Good. Any Teacher. question? Yes, tell me, tell me. And are, can, do, it is, is una pregunta específica. Uh, uh, you mean these, right? When I use where, what, yes? Cuando uso estas palabras, ¿sí? Sí. Ok, sí, es una pregunta específica, ¿sí? Si yo le voy a preguntar where, le voy a estoy preguntando dónde. Es algo específico. No me va a decir nada más que un lugar, right? En el punto eh, puntual. Correcto, sí. Si le digo qué es lo que puede hacer, entonces usted me va a decir qué cosas puede hacer. Pero esta es una pregunta como más abierta, ¿sí? En ese punto no, no, no entra la retórica. Ah, no, aquí sí hay que responder. Aquí sí hay que responder, ¿verdad? ¿Me entiende? Y uh, la diferencia entre ambos tipos de pregunta es que en esta solo digo sí o no, solo yes, no, yes, no. En cambio que en esta específica que usted me está diciendo, estoy preguntando algo. Usted me tiene que responder, ¿verdad? Y responder, ¿qué le estoy preguntando? Si le hablo de quién, who. Si le hablo de dónde, where. Si le hablo de qué, de qué cosa, abstracta o concreta, what. Si le hablo de, de qué, posesivo, which. Si le hablo de persona, who. Si le hablo de, de, ah, de posesión, ¿verdad? Who's, de quién. Who's this car, de quién es este carro. 
usted me tiene que decir de quién es el carro, ¿right? Y así eh, puedo seguir preguntando en todos los tiempos y en todos los tiempos, el presente, el presente continuo, el futuro con will, be going to, simple past, present perfect, y todos los temas en inglés siempre es lo mismo. Por eso les puse este cuadro, ¿verdad? Solo son algunos ejemplos de que siempre va a haber preguntas de sí y no y preguntas de información. ¿Ok? Y okay, teacher. que ahora vamos a introducir el pasado simple, ¿verdad? Good. Answer, no, no, the answer short is, is, no, it's the long answer. Am, yes. Um, yeah. yes. The long answer. Yes, but, but it's okay if I, if I want to, to, to give an answer short, it's okay. No problem. Yes. Yes, no. no problem. Yes, no problem. You can say yes or no. For example, are you a student? Yes, I am. Can you speak French? No, I can't. Do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I do. Did you eat chicken yesterday? Yes, I did. So you can make like that. Uh, in the practice, yeah. Irma, yes, yes, of course. Yes, of course, because if you use the verb to be, verb to be. Can, can. Simple present, simple present. Simple past, simple past, right? But Irma, in the practice, you can answer whatever, right? Because all the languages, including Spanish, are not you know, mechanic, right? Like, are you a student? Yes, I am. No, I am. No, I mean, you can say, are you a student? And then you can say, why are you asking? ¿Y por qué me preguntas eso? <laughs> so you can, you can answer whatever. You can say short, long, or you can answer other thing, right? According to the logic, of course. Because they say, are you a student? Yes, I live in San Salvador. <laughs> no, I mean, it must be logic. It must be logic, right? And I repeat, you can make short or long. Is your option. Yes? Okay. okay. You're welcome. Uh, any other question? This point is really, really important, right? Este punto es bien importante. Porque de, de aquí partimos para entender todos los temas, right? Yes? Because we saw affirmative and negative. Le, le di un repaso de las oraciones afirmativas y negativas, right? Now, how to make questions. ¿Cómo hacer preguntas? Hay varios tipos de preguntas. Están las negative questions, las tag questions, pero están estas que son las principales. Las preguntas de sí y no y las preguntas de información. Entonces debemos entender exactamente cuál es el significado. Give me a second, please. Give me a second. Ok, let's continue. Let's continue, right? Good. No, no more questions? Okay. Now? The simple pass specific. Yes, no question in the simple pass, right? Did they go to the church? A auxiliary deal? Subject day and the verb go, right? And then the complement, right? Did they go to the church? Okay, notice that in the questions, we use the auxiliary did, right? The subject that could be whatever, they, you, we, Pedro, Maria, Juan, right? And then the verb in simple present form. Why is that? Because you use the auxiliary, right? When you use the auxiliary, it's not necessary to change the verb, right? And then you, here we have a short answer. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Right? Okay. Other example. Did he like the movie? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Notice that... Uh, just be Okay, uh, sorry, sorry. Now, did he like the movie? Notice that here I don't use does or do, right? No, we use did for all the subjects. For he, she, they, we, I, for all the subjects, I use did, right? 
And I don't change the verb. For example, you say, he likes. No, 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 it's not necessary, right? Okay. Or he liked, or he liking. No, 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 no. When you use the auxiliary, the verb is simple, right? Pelón. <laughs> Nothing more, right? Just the verb, right? Good. And then the answer, yes, he did. No, he didn't, right? These are the yes, no question with the simple pass. Now, simple pass only, right? Good. Now, the yes, no question or the WH question. No, 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 sorry. The, excuse me. The information question or the WH question. Se llaman WH question porque todas llevan WH, right? Por eso se llaman así. Y se llaman también information question porque doy información específica. Si me preguntan dónde, where. Si me dicen quién, who. Si me dicen cuándo, when. Ok, entonces doy una información específica. Por eso se llama WH question or information question, right? Good. Now, for this, we use the WH question word. The auxiliary did, in this case, right? The subject and the verb, right? Where did they go? ¿A dónde fueron ellos, right? Where did they go? What? Ah, oh, me made a mistake. Sorry, sorry. Aquí error de dedo. <laughs> sorry. Vamos a corregirle. Sorry. Ok. Ok, good. What did he like to eat? ¿Qué le gustó a él comer, right? What did he like? Again, the WH question word, the auxiliary did, the subject they, and he, in this case, the verbs go and like, right? And then the complement, right? So notice the difference between the yes, no question and the information question, right? Just give me a second here, right? Here. Only the auxiliary, subject, verb, and complement. And in the WH question, we use a WH question word. Where, what, and then the same, right? Auxiliary, subject, and verb. And complement, of course, right? Good. Here we have some examples of WH words. Uh, what, where, when, who, why, how, I'm sorry, which, whose, whom, right? El que, que cosa, things, right? Where, donde, when, cuando, who, quien, why, por qué, that's reason, right? How, como, de qué forma, de qué manera, right? Which is an option. Cuál? Who's the quién, right? Whom a quién? Quién a quién, right? Who and whom? And we use the auxiliary did for all the subjects. I, you, we, they, he, she, it, Juan, Maria, Misifus, etc., etc., right? For all. Good. Any questions so far? Questions, questions? Okay, let's continue. The time is flying, right? Let's continue, right? Now we have example here of yes, no questions and information question. Did I watch TV last night? Yes, I did. Did you watch TV last night? Uh, no, sorry. It's, uh, did you watch TV? Yes, 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 I did, right? Uh, did he watch TV last night? Yes, he did. Did she see a movie? Yes, she did or no, she didn't, right? So we have the structure here. Auxiliary, subject, verb, right? Now for the information question, where did you go last weekend? 
WH word, auxiliary, subject, verb, and complement, right? What time did they go out to dinner? What did your friend watch on TV? How many cups of coffee did she drink? Who did they see yesterday? Okay, good. And uh, the same formula, right? And also notice that the verbs are in simple present form. Go, go, watch, drink, see, right? Good. And there is a, an exception here. Hay una excepción aquí, right? Cuando el verbo, el, el question word who es el sujeto, right? Entonces no usamos auxiliar. Es la única pregunta como excepción en la cual no vamos a usar el auxiliar. Cuando el who es el sujeto. ¿Quién es el que está yendo al mall? El who, ¿verdad? Y aquí en esta pregunta, who did they see yesterday? ¿Quiénes fueron los que vieron? Ellos fueron, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces aquí, they es el sujeto. No es who, ¿verdad? Sino que they. Porque los que vieron fueron ellos, ¿sí? Y acá, en esta que está aquí, who went to the mall, el who está actuando como sujeto. Por lo tanto, no es necesario usar el auxiliar, ¿ok? Good. Esa solo es una excepción, solamente, ¿ok? Good. Any questions so far? Good. So yes, we... I get one. No, I get one. Sorry. Come on, tell me, Rodrigo. The exception. Mm -hmm. When. Yeah. When. Is only for that verb or only for that statement? For all the verbs. But using all the only. Verbs. Listen, but Rodrigo, listen, only using who? Who only? Okay. Uh -huh. What, where, how, etc., etc. No, no exceptions. Always WH word, auxiliary, subject, verb, and complement. If, but, if but, I applied, if, if I apply the rule, mm -hmm. who saw yesterday? Is it correct? Yeah, who saw the movie yesterday, for example? Okay, who saw the movie yesterday? Who saw the movie yesterday, right? Because you say, okay. ¿Quién fue el que vio la película? Okay. Okay. So, okay. So, and notice the translation okay. of this question, Rodrigo. Look, look. Cuando usamos yeah. el auxiliar con who, cuando, cuando no omitimos el auxiliar, es otro el sujeto. Por ejemplo, aquí la oración, who did they see yesterday? A quienes ellos vieron. Mm -hmm. Ellos. Ellos fueron los que vieron. ¿Ok? Ok. A los otros, <ríe> obviamente. Ellos. Okay. Entonces, en el caso de, de who did they see, cuando usamos el auxiliar, el sujeto es otro. Veamos otro ejemplo. Eh, who did, um, did uh, Rodrigo... Do you have Do you have children, Rodrigo? Yes, I have two okay, boys. Okay, good. Okay, good, good. Who did Rodrigo kiss yesterday? A quién besó Rodrigo ayer? Okay, so you said his songs, his songs as his hijos, songs. right? Uh -huh. Okay. Who did Rodrigo kiss yesterday? Entonces aquí el sujeto sería Rodrigo, right? Okay. Bueno, vamos, vamos a tomarme un tiempo. Yo sé que tenemos un montón de cosas que ver, pero voy a tomarme un tiempo para, para explicarles esto porque es, es importante. Yeah, I think that's important. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. is that's important. Good. good. Look, Because look. look. What, what's, for, for, for advantage, take advantage in this moment, uh, the translation or, or the correct translation, ¿Quiénes mm -hmm. entraron ayer? Ah, ¿Quiénes okay. entraron ayer? Ok. I will, I will copy that example, but let me finish with this. Who did okay. Rodrigo kiss, kiss yesterday? Okay. So in this case, the subject is Rodrigo. Entonces, cuando es otro el sujeto, cuando uh -huh. es otro el sujeto, entonces tenemos que usar el auxiliar did, como en todas las preguntas, ¿verdad? Pero en la excepción... En la excepción sería, who kissed you? ¿Quién te besó? ¿Quién oh. te besó? Who kissed you? Entonces, en este okay. caso, el, el who es el sujeto. Porque ¿quién fue el que besó? El, el who, ¿verdad? Esa persona que no sabemos quién es. 
él fue el besador, ¿verdad? <risa> ¿Ok? ¿Quién te besó a ti? En este caso, si es Rodrigo, sus hijos lo besaron, ¿verdad? Uquicio. ¿Ok? okay. Entonces, aquí está otro ejemplo de que se usa el auxiliar di cuando el sujeto es otro. Y se omite cuando el sujeto es who. ¿Sí? Y el verbo se pasa a pasado, ¿verdad? Ahora vamos a la oración que dice Rodrigo. ¿Cuál? Repítame la oración, Rodrigo. En español. ¿Quiénes entraron? ¿Quiénes entraron ayer? Who entered yesterday? ¿Quién es el sujeto aquí, Rodrigo? Uh -huh. ¿Quién es el sujeto? Es el mismo. Es el sujeto que queremos averiguar quién es, ¿verdad? El okay. who. Gramaticalmente sí. el sujeto es who. ¿Sí? Por lo tanto, si nosotros decimos quién entró ayer, entonces estamos preguntando específicamente sobre esa persona y esa persona es la que hace la acción. Entonces, en ese caso, aplica la excepción, ¿verdad? Ok. Si usted Thank dice, ¿a, a, quiénes entró, eh, ¿a quiénes entraron ellos ayer? <ríe> ¿A quiénes entraron ellos ayer? Who did they enter to the room? Ok, aquí sí usamos el auxiliar porque es otro el sujeto, ¿ve? They, they es el sujeto, ¿verdad? Ok, okay. thank you. ¿A, a okay. Quién es entra Ahora sí entiende, Rodrigo, la diferencia. Yeah, cuando... total clear. Yeah, okay, it's, it's okay. Good. Good. When who is a subject, sorry, and when other thing is a subject. So, when, when other thing is a subject, the regular question, question word, Auxiliary, subject, verb, and complement. But when who is the subject, pero cuando who es el sujeto, entonces omitimos el auxiliar y el verbo lo pasamos al pasado, valga la redundancia. Ok, another question. Por ahí tengo otra pregunta. Please, tell me. ¿Quién más me iba a preguntar? Questions, questions. Sorry, por ahí escuché que alguien más me iba a preguntar. Teacher, es, es igual que en when. When. ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo entrarán? Ah, no, 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 no. Uh, there is no exception. Cuando usamos when no hay excepciones. Ahí es siempre la misma fórmula, right? Ok, teacher. Sí, ahí siempre. Solo con el who. Solo con el who es la, la excepción, ¿verdad? Por eso que está esta nota aquí. Solo con el who. De ahí los demás, where, what, time, what, todos. No cambia, nunca lo van a cambiar. W is word, auxiliary, subject, and verb, right? Ok, good. Sorry, sorry. Excuse me. Ok, now, let's continue, right? Now we have a, a, a we have a, a, a practice, right? Tenía una práctica, pero, pero creo que no nos va a alcanzar el tiempo. Solo vamos a hacer rapidito. Um, this is a question, right? And then notice that... Uh, We make only one, only, only one, right? Notice that when I make this question, right? I, I have to answer according to the question. So in this case, because the answer is no. So is an information question or a yes, no question? Esta pregunta no es retórica. <laughs> Pueden contestarla. <laughs> is a yes, no question or information question? What do you think? No, I, yes, no question or information question. ¿Cuál de las dos tipos de preguntas sería? Yes, no question. Yes, no question. No, no, yes, no question. Because we have the answer no, porque respondemos con no, right? Entonces la yes. pregunta sería, did you stay? El verbo lo pasamos al pasado, valga la redundancia, sí o no? No. No, no se no. pasa. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos usan, usando no. el verbo did, right? Did you stay home on Saturday? No, I didn't. No, no didn't. sorry. No, excuse me. No, perdón. No, no, así. No. I called my friend. Dice, no, I called my friend. We drove to a cafe for lunch. Es que está respondiendo respuesta larga, pero es pregunta de sí y no, ¿verdad? No, I called my friend and we drove to a cafe for lunch. Llamé a mi amigo y, y manejamos a tomar un cafecito, ¿verdad? Ahí para el almuerzo, ¿ok? Ok, eh, vamos a ver de qué forma hacemos este ejercicio. Creo que 
si me queda oportunidad voy a mandárselos al grupo y lo trabajamos mañana en, en, en grupo separado, ¿verdad? Porque no me va a alcanzar el tiempo si lo hacemos, ¿ok? Now, let's go to the video, right? Let's go to the video in the platform. Let me see. The platform is, yes, here, right? Doki. Good. Section two. We start with section two today, right? And the conversation. Ya vimos la conversación. Solo vamos a escuchar el audio, yes? Only listen to the audio. Ready? Okay. It's taking time. Opening, 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 yes. We listen to the audio, right? All the verbs in the past. Listen, Hi please. To all. Welcome to section seven. We had a great time. In this it's section two, right? Section two, <laughs> no section seven. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. So, not... Sorry. Notice the use of some examples of, of simple path, right? Uh, the question is, what did you do last weekend? It's a question in simple path. And then I had... I went, sang, right? Now, this is a yes, no question. Did you go to Lucky's? And then you, you answer, look. Uh, no, no, we didn't, right? In this question, what did you do last weekend? Say, uh, I went and I did this, et cetera, et cetera, right? And when I made yes, no question, I answer no, we didn't, right? And then more examples. Went, a negative statement, stayed, Forgot. Okay. Here we use everything. Affirmative, negative, yes, no question, and information question. Todos se usan aquí en esta conversación, right? Okay. Now, let's go to the video. Simple pass. Pay attention, please. In this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Okay, listen, please. Notice that the yes, no questions, the, the answer is different, right? Yes, no, yes, no. But when we make yes information questions, what did Ricky do? ¿Qué hizo? Oh, se quedó en casa y estudió, right? Stayed home and studied. Oh, how did Meg spend her week? ¿Cómo gastó? ¿Cómo pasó su fin de semana, Meg, right? Ah, she went to the karaoke. But never say yes or no, right? What did Ricky do? Uh, yes, he did. No, no, no. 
Or how did May? No, she didn't. No. The answer is very specific. Do. Did do, right? Did spend. Mm -hmm. Very specific. Now let's continue watching the video. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We used auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used did? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. Says question the verb is good any any questions so far any question about this no questions okay good now listen please simple review right we use the yes, no question, and we answer yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Using the auxiliary did, right? The verb doesn't change when we use the auxiliary. And we use information question or WH question using WH question words like what, when, how, uh, who, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> and we answer, and we answer with yes or no, right? We don't answer, sorry, with yes or no. We answer with specific. Mira la foto del que Por me ahí tengo una, un micrófono encendido. Ay, ¿qué pasó, Loreto? Silvia, hello, Silvia. Silvia, hello. <ríe> si gusta, pagamos un ratito. Gracias, gracias, Silvia. Ok. Continue, continue, continue. Now, eh, so in this case, we answer very specific information, right? And again, when we make the question, the verb doesn't change into the past, right? Quiere decir que el verbo solo lo vamos a cambiar cuando las oraciones sean afirmativas. Simple like that. In negative and in questions, don't change the verb, right? Because of the auxiliary. Good. Any extra question? No questions? Okie dokie. Now I'm going to explain how to make the knowledge check, right? The knowledge check. Tomorrow we read the commentaries. We read the commentary, right? But now, okay, now. Here, we're going to say uh, that this is a yes, no question, right? Yes, no question. So we use, <clears throat> remember the formula, right? Auxiliary div, subject, and the verb in present. The verb in present. Auxiliary, subject, and the very present, right? So now, can you check here? What is the correct? Only click, right? Good. Number two, the answer. No. Okay, listen to me. Aquí es una respuesta larga. So it says, no. When you answer, long answer, in this case, you have to use the simple past form, right? Aquí sí tenemos que usar la forma del pasado, porque estamos, a pesar de que dice no aquí, la siguiente oración es afirmativa, right? ¿Ok? Lo mismo que acá. Y cuando la oración es afirmativa, cambiamos el verbo al pasado, right? Entonces aquí, por favor. Ah, no, no, perdón. Discúlpeme, me equivoqué aquí. 
es, aquí estamos hablando de eh, algo negativo, sí, esto de llamó a su amigo, es que está diferente a como lo vimos en el ejercicio, ¿verdad? por eso me confundí, perdón, le explico aquí, esta oración en el ejercicio, en el ejercicio, no en el video que vimos, sino que en el ejercicio, eh, lo ponen en negativo, esta oración de call, va en negativo, entonces, les explico cómo hacer el negativo. Van a poner aquí el auxiliar did más not y el verbo no se cambia. El verbo va igual, ¿sí? Y aquí, en la siguiente, el verbo sí se cambia porque esta oración es afirmativa, ¿sí? En esta oración, este es negativo y esto es afirmativo. Por eso es que aquí les han puesto una pleca, miren. Porque esta es la parte de la primera parte y este verbo que está aquí a la par es de la segunda parte, ¿sí? Ok. Perdón por la confusión, ¿verdad? Y luego aquí ya tenemos una pregunta de información, ¿ve? WH Word. Usamos el auxiliar y después el verbo no se cambia. El verbo se deja igual, ¿ok? Y aquí vamos a ver si es negativo. Ajá. Ok. Bien. La primera y la segunda son afirmativos. La última es negativa. En la cuatro, la primera y la segunda son afirmativas y la última es negativa. Ok. Esta es pregunta de información. Este es afirmativo. Este es afirmativo también. La siete es pregunta de sí y no. La ocho es pregunta, respuesta corta. Y esta oración es afirmativa. Y la última también es afirmativa. ¿okay? La nueve es una pregunta de sí y no. Yes, no question. Right. Y la última es una respuesta negativa corta. Right. Simple like that. Eh, Mañana vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso y a leer sus comentarios, ¿verdad? En los videos, ¿ok? Good. Y terminamos porque este, verbo, este video ya no lo podemos ver. Un listening exercise. Nos faltó esta clase, ¿ok? So, thank you very much. Discúlpeme que los deje, pero ya se nos acabó el tiempo. <laughs> I hope you have a good night. And... God bless you, right? See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night.